Hi everyone and all you M-Maniacs and welcome back to the next game of m Plays FIFA 15. Today it's Hartlepool away at QPR. We're in Season 4 and we are in the Premier League and we lost our last game against Manchester City 1-0. I was expecting to lose by more but we didn't. We lost by only one goal so that's not a bad thing. And plus I thought we actually played better than Manchester City. Anyway, we're currently 14th in the league and we are going away to uh, two Loftus Road today to play against QPR who are playing in the blue and white hoops. We're playing in the blue and white stripes. We're going to play on four minutes of professional difficulty and we're controlling the whole team. Away we Welcome go. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Premier League. It's Queen's Park Rangers against Hartlepool United. Well, they can't all be top of the table clashes, you know. In the interest of fairness, we like to bring you coverage from some lower place sides as well. We're only Maybe four games into today. the season. You can't really season. say that at the so minute, Mr. Stalin. Um, I think after higher, like half of the season's gone, I think once we, okay, we've settled to, to where people are, are in the league, I think fair enough. But at the minute, Martin we're only like Alan two Smith or three points Alan behind the actual leaders of the Premiership. So I don't see how we can say that it's a bottom of the table clash it's just the way that we're sitting at the moment i suppose anyway here's the lineup today for qpr well this is the queen's park rangers lineup not a bad team but uh, we are expected to do well against qpr today i uh, i think that we might struggle a little bit going past their defenders but we'll have to wait and see how it goes because they're playing that five at the back um, game. Anyway, here's the lineup for Hartlepool. Got House in goal with Richards, Jones, Bates, and Kim at the back. Emma Walker, Woods, and Compton in the middle. Lee and Alessandro once again starting. This is the same team that played against Villa that won. And I think it's the same team that we put out against Manchester City. Jack Compton, though, is very lucky to get a call up today because he hasn't been he's playing his best over the past couple of games. So hopefully, he'll be able to pull something out of the bag there, today and do something special to uh, to secure City. his place yeah, in the first well team over the next couple defeated. of games because otherwise you know I could see Nothing him sitting on the bench for a little better, while and making way for probably Hawkins or um, maybe even Back Hearn who played in his today. position last time. Mark Glattenberg is the match official for this game. Uh, QPR have won the toss and they're going to uh, kick off. They're going from right to left. Uh, sorry, we're going from right to left in this half. The referee's blown his whistle. Everybody's ready and away we go. It's absolutely bucketing it down with rain here today at Loftus Road. So uh, it might be a bit hard to even see the ball. That was a sliding tackle and a half. That's one way of starting the match. And it's a red card. Two minutes in and... Falling uh, is sent easy. off. My Pen God, let's have another look at that. He says, slides in straight behind that Walker and completely upends him. So. And he's Poor got sent off for that. Even time. Alessandra shows his disapproval to that tackle. And QPR are down to 10 men after two minutes. What a start to this game. That could swing this game into the visitors' favour, into Hartlepool's favour. Lovely ball into the box there by the defender. Doesn't manage to get onto the head of a Hartlepool player. And then Mal tussling over on that far side for the ball. Earned him uh, an extra aggression point, actually. Anyway, Bates now with the ball, knocks it forwards to Woods. Plays it up the wing to Mal. Mal tries to cut across, but doesn't manage to do so. Gives it to Richards. Richards with the ball, gives it to Mal. He's called for it. He's cut it inside. He has a shot at goal, and it just falls. Bias wide past the post. What a brilliant start, though, by uh, Hartlepool all over QPR. Constant pressure in the QPR box. That's what we like to see. When they get that sort of pressure, that means that they're guaranteed a goal, usually. And, uh, well, let's hope that it happens in the next couple of minutes. Ball played long up the field by the goalie, though, from the goal kick. Kicks it up to the striker who knocks it forward to the other striker. Doesn't manage to do anything with it and he's picked up by the defender. Plays it forward to Emmao. Emmao now knocking it forward through the centre. Going on a run himself. Plays it a lovely little through ball to Woods. Woods just not fast enough to get to it. 
and the keeper comes out and picks up the ball no problems for him and he kicks it along up the field again just before Hartlepool are able to actually get it back into position the ball though falls down and they've managed to regain it Alessandra with the ball tries to cut inside doesn't manage to, to do that. so gets blocked out by three um, QPR players and stops them from scoring now QPR are on the, on the break a lovely market. little through ball Austin. to the striker can he cut it across or get the crossover he's got people in support tries to cross it it ricochets off a player I thought it was going out but it didn't it managed to keep it in by end mouth and now they're playing it forwards once more Alessandra with the ball he looks up he's got end mouth out on the wing to play to he's got Lee in the centre to play to but he decides to be a bit greedy and loses the ball completely and it's played forward now to the uh, the midfielder they're trying to get it forward but there's a ton of pressure from Woods there onto the player as soon as he gets it and now it's uh, Jones who's pressurising him and Bates now oh lovely little through ball to buy QPR he goes down in the penalty area the referee hasn't given a penalty though I think the referee has given offside oh no he hasn't he's called it back for an earlier tackle that happened my word that looked like it would have been a penalty against Hartlepool but Mark Glattenberg has brought, brought play back several minutes, well, several seconds, and uh, he's given them a free kick about 40 yards out. Will they be able to score from this free so kick? He plays it hard the at the to wall, to and it bounces kick. off the wall and That'll goes straight out for a corner. Comes off the head of M. Mao, pings off, and fires behind the corner. Brad Walker coming up and congratulating M. Mao on the uh, the blockage there and now it's fur to take the corner There's movement in the box he crosses it over deep into the penalty area punched away by Halstead it goes out to the uh, to the QPR player who tries to have a shot at goal but Halstead comes out and collects it no problems for him he throws the ball out to Jack Compton Jack Compton now going on a run down the wing cuts it inside pass it to Alessandra Alessandra knocks it into Walker in Walker to trying tackle. to get past doesn't manage to Have do on. so and now the tackle from That's QPR has McAnally, put the ball the into their favour will they be able to do anything from, from this a 10 man QPR really holding Hartlepool um, to a draw at the minute and as you see there Manchester City are beating West Ham 1-0 at the moment West Ham unable to hold off for the 45 minutes before they let a goal in against Manchester City. At least we managed to wait till the second half before they scored. Anyway, the ball kicked long up the field Manchester from the City goal. goal. Kick Alan goes over to, to Alessandra. Alessandra on, on knocks it occasion. back forwards to Lee. That's Lee lets it run on for Walker. Walker Good tries to go past the three defenders. Well. Tries to knock it over there. the top. It's gone to Lee. Lee cuts it and he hits a ball and it just fizzes past the post. I don't think he had a full-on strike of the ball there, to be honest with you. I don't think he could properly see the goal. I think that was more of a reaction shot where he just turned and hit the ball but it's an absolute beautiful strike and it warns QPR that we are here to win this game the ball played forward now by the QPR goalie out to the defender he plays it long up the field but it goes out for a throw in complete miss kick that to be honest with you ML throws it back Woods. in and it's gone to Woods. Woods now tries to take it's it round the, the one defender. He goes down, gets, gets back up chance. though, and he hits it. What a goal! Michael Woods has scored! What an absolute beauty of a goal! When he went down, I thought they would have given a free kick, but he got back up and he was still in possession. And he just took it past the two defenders and smashed it home straight past the keeper. Well, it took a ricochet off the keeper, the rebound off the keeper into the goal. And it's Michael Woods who's going to be claiming that one. That's his first goal in this Barclays Premiership League. What an absolute beauty it was. That's one to remember even if it is against QPR plus it's on the 45 minute mark we've got five minutes of added time left to play here that is going to completely change the manager's uh, half-time team talk for QPR but a 10-man QPR are unable to hold off the 11-man Hartlepool and Hartlepool are now in the lead 1-0 they kick off again 
and they've gone straight back down near enough score well near enough for uh, trying to get into the penalty area that was a bit of a dodgy tackle the way they're going they're going to end up going down to nine men rather than playing with ten men for the rest of this game Hartlepool need to calm down with their sliding tackles a little bit as well I think a lot of it is to do with the way that the ground is at the moment the water on the pitch is really saturating the pitch now because it's raining heavier and heavier anyway the referee blows up for the end of this first half and it's currently Hartlepool 1 QPR nil, and they're only with ten men with a score 1-0. Let's take a look at the highlights from that first half and then we'll be straight back to your commentary team for the, the rest of the game. There was the foul that sent him off. That's definitely something to be talking about. Anyway, the half-time scores there around the grounds. If you want to see them, rewind it and pause it. Otherwise, we are carrying on with this second half and it's Connor Smith, I think, that is. Oh, no, is it's Lewis Hawkins coming on for Brad Walker, taking over for him and fresh legs in that referee. midfield role. The manager again, trying to go half. for another goal here, it looks like, by putting on a more attacking Endo. player once more. And Mal plays the ball, ball forward, doesn't manage to get it to who his uh, intended target was, but it's taken off on by the QPR midfield, and now they're playing That's it good. forward. QPR putting a ton of pressure onto Hartlepool at the start of this second half. The manager must have really, really had a word with him and said to him, look, come on, lads, we need to get a goal back here. We can't get beat by Hartlepool. But Alessandro's gone through and he's on goal and he's found it wide again. He really should have scored that. That is a horrible miss for Luis Alessandra. It just seems that nothing is going right for him at the moment. Lee trying to keep his uh, his spirit up and everything but Lee knows that he should have played the ball across to him there probably and it would have been an easier goal but he still gives him the thumbs up to make sure that he's happy and, and make sure that he knows that we know it's going to come eventually once that through. first goal goes Lee. in I think the floodgates will once again open that's what well, seems to happen in quite a few of his seasons there, where he's well. had a bit of a goal drought and then suddenly, boom, he scores one goal and then he scores 15 or 16 after it. But Danny we'll have to wait and see what happens in this Premier League because it's a lot harder to score against Premier League keepers rather than first division, second division keepers. Anyway, the ball crossed in there by the QPR midfielder. Nobody to get on the end of it. It's punched away by the keeper. And now Hartlepool are on the attack again. QPR pick up the dead ball and the referee blows for a free kick there. I think that was a bit of a 50-50 situation. Anyway, on to coming Allen now for Charlie Austin, who's going off and we're also going to make way for Lee um, so that Ross can come on here as well for Hartlepool the normal substitution that's been happening quite often Ross coming on wanting to score his first goal in the Premier League he's My really going for Alan it he's McAnally really gonna he's really hungry him. for a goal Everton's let's put it that goal. way I think he's and going through the same sort one. of problem that well, Alessandra is as well the goal drought is comes. happening for him too Jones. I think once they start scoring no they might be unstoppable Ross. anyway the ball played forward to Ross and now he's got fresh legs will he be able to go past the defenders no he doesn't manage to do so the ball gets played towards Hawkins Hawkins knocks it forwards to Ross Danny Ross sits. loses out to three of the defenders and now QPR are trying to get the ball out of their area there is unrelenting pressure from Hartlepool they are constantly trying to play it back into the QPR box all the time you can definitely see what a difference a 10-man QPR is having against an 11-man Hartlepool I think it would be more of a game if there was 11 men on for QPR I think that first couple of seconds red card really did change this game and anyway, we've got a corner now. Let's see what comes from this. Can Mal put the corner into a decent area and someone put the ball in the net? We'll have to wait and see. This movement again in the box. Will he be able to do anything with it? The ball, he looks for someone to cross to. He crosses it deep it's into the penalty chance, area. Headers it a goal. Keeper there the to collect it. No uh, problem for him. Save. Wasn't and enough real power in the header that, there at goal. Unfortunately for uh, for Ross, I think it was, who finally and got the head on to the end of it. That was a lovely tackle, though, by Richards. And now Richards is going on a run. He gets tackled by the defender. He picks up the ball from him and knocks it back forwards for QPR. They try to go back on a run. And this is a lovely 
only bit of build up play. They're not able to score though from doing that. And the referee sinks up and he doesn't like Mark Clatterberg. Referee blows his whistle and it's a free kick on the edge of the area. They're going to take off Yun Suk Young and they're going to bring on. I didn't see who it was who they're bringing on, but uh, we'll soon see in a second. The manager there, you can see, giving his orders off to the other players and making sure that we hold on to this lead because that is the thing that Hartlepool seem to be famous for while I'm playing with them at the minute. It seems that whenever we're in the lead, something happens and we always end up drawing or we lose the lead somehow or we lose the actual game overall. Hopefully that will not happen today. The, oh God, the referee ready to take the free kick and now the manager's decided he's going to change end now for Jonathan Franks. Why did he not do that when the last substitution was happening? I think this is all to do with a bit of time wasting. The referee, though, has stopped his watch for this one. And, well, this is that was a bit shocking, really. They should have done that at the same time as the other substitution. So Jonathan Franks makes his debut into the Premier League today for ML. And now Hartlepool knocking the ball forward. Nothing come from that strike at goal. It was a brilliant save by the keeper from the free kick. But now here we go, QPR going on the attack once more. Will they be able to do anything? Will they be able to salvage a point from this game? They've got nine minutes in which to do so. They try to play the ball long, Alessandra does, but it manages to get cut out by the defenders of QPR. And now they're taking the ball back. Hawkins, though, takes that ball off him, tries to knock it forward. There's nobody up forward with him, and he would have had to go on a run on his own, but he didn't manage to do so. The ball has been played long, though, forward by the QPR player. I think the wind got it because it went out of play. And, well... It's a gone out confidence. for a corner. By the looks of it, I don't know why it's gone out for a corner. It must have taken a rebound off the Hartlepool player. Anyway, last minute attempt for, Hart for QPR. Will they be able to score here? They cross it over. It's headed down to the edge of the penalty area. He has a shot and it's just gone wide. That could have been the equaliser. But unfortunately, he hits it just wide of the uh, of the thing. Pabonders doesn't manage to put the ball in the net. And unfortunately for him, that could have finished the game. It's uh, Halstead now to take the goal kick. I don't think he's going to be in any hurry to do this. There's 87 minutes played. We've got three minutes of time to be played and stoppage time if there is any. Will they be able to do anything from this? Kicks it long up the field. Headed back the by the now. defender. And Doesn't manage to get it. And now goal. he's going on the attack with it. The QPR player is. He tries to cut inside. He tries to yeah, chip it over into the, the middle team. of the penalty Martin area. Martin he sees two strikers well. there. All and these long balls keep going and getting played state. straight into the box. But they keep constantly getting cleared away by the Hartley-Paul defence. They are playing so well at the moment. They really, really want to hold on to this lead of 1-0. And the win here now, this will take us a few leading. points up that Surprise table lead. a few spaces the up the table and hopefully we'll be able to go up a little bit further and that header whoa that I thought was going to be a goal Halstead completely out of position there the header goes at goal but he gets shown up as being offside let's have a look at that he oh, that's a very close decision luckily enough the ball didn't go in the net because they would have felt robbed if that is, would have happened anyway there is the final whistle it is finished, finished here Hartley Pool 1 Queen's Park Rangers nil and the goal scored by Michael Woods at the end of the first half on the 45 minutes absolute beauty of a goal he got fouled on the edge of the area got up and carried on running with it and he scored it on the 45th minute it changed the game for the rest of it the main thing though that did change this game was the two minutes sending off of uh, I can't remember what these, the player's name was now he, uh, he got sent off in the first two minutes. Here it is. Here's another look at it. He gets sli sliding tackle into uh, the back of Walker. And he saw red straight away. Alessandra showing his disapproval against him as well at that, uh, at that point. 
Then these uh, shots happened. There was the free kick there that went over the top. The save by M. Mau. It ricocheted off his head. And then there was that shot by QPR. They didn't have that many shots at goal. But the shots that they did have were on target. It was just that Halstead had such a really good match. And then there was Lee, the other end, having shots at goal. The only thing was he wasn't looking when he hit that and he just smashed it wide, unfortunately for him. Here's the goal, though, from Michael Wood. You see him go down, he gets back up and he smashes it straight past the keeper in the top corner. The fans went crazy in the stands when that happened and they know that that is going to give them a few points in this Premier League and move them up the table. Wins like this against the likes of QPR and Aston Villa are what we are going to need to do to be able to survive in this Premier League. Hopefully, if we can last the one season, we might be able to get a few more decent players in and then hopefully carry it on next season and go for European football then. We still might get it this season. I doubt it, but we can see. Anyway, it finished here. QPR nil, Hartlepool 1. ML scores a 6.2 rating. Michael Woods gets man of the match with a 7.7. .7, and here's the, the scores from Burnley. around the grounds. Aston Villa Read about big man. Norwich City nil. Cardiff City nil. Manchester United 1. Chelsea 1. Tottenham Hotspur nil. Crystal Palace 1. West Bromwich Albion 1. Everton 2, Newcastle United Norwich City two. still yet Manchester to pick City, up a point two, in this West Premiership. United, These were the uh, that was one of the teams nil. that come up Article with us United, along one. with Cardiff City. Sunderland, now one. Cardiff City, City are who two. we are playing Swansea next. Uh, and we Liverpool, know how bad one. it goes against Cardiff so City normally when we play against them. But there we at go. The Here's the table at the moment. We are in 10th place. Played for 1-2, drawn nil, lost 2, goals for 2, goals against 3, a minus 1 goal difference and fourth, we are on Arsenal six points I hope you've enjoyed fifth, this game I hope you've enjoyed watching points. this match sixth, our next game is points. against Cardiff in City seventh, I hope that Aston you will Villa come back and join points. us for that in one eighth, it should Manchester be an City absolute cracker points. we're at home table, anyway Norwich thank City you very much no for points. watching and then take care table, I'll see you on the next video and bye for now third bottom Queen's Park Rangers with one point fourth bottom Sunderland with two points Fifth bottom, West Bromwich Albion with two points. Anyway, a big thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video of FIFA 15. Leave a like if you can and comment if you want to. And please click the big subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. Add me on all the social media sites. The links are in the descriptions. As is the information if you ever want to play a game with me. Also, come and join in the fun at the live streams that I do. Links are on the screen right now. Anyway, I hope to see you all in the next video. Once again, thanks for watching, and until then, bye for now.